wonderful and magical Disney had a rough start. He was actually even fired because he lacked imagination and didn't have any good ideas. Sitting in a room alone in despair, he found a mouse crawling through his attic room. And that's where the famous Mickey Mouse was born from. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jason, and today I am going to tell you why failure is a stepping stone towards success. Success doesn't just appear out of nowhere, like how Elsa blasts ice. It's almost impossible to go through life without experiencing some kind of failure. Failure, sadly, is just part of life. Yet people are actually scared of failure. They want to avoid it and stay away from it as if it's some kind of deadly disease. It is also one of the major reasons that holds people back from realizing their full potential and their true long-term goals. But everyone understands why failure tastes like lemon. There is no worse feeling than facing failure. Failure leaves you bitter, miserable, and depressed. That's why people play inside the safe zone, to avoid getting risks or failure. It's actually totally understandable that people play inside the, inside the box and play it cool and safe. However, you have to remember, playing it cool might not be the best choice you can take. Think about all the untapped potential and ideas you might have under this failure layer. It's just putting you out of action. In other words, you're just being pessimistic, negative-minded, and thinking about the failures rather than the achievements. Many people believe that successful people are the most intelligent, gifted, and blessed people in the world. However, if you take a peek behind their backstage, they're just ordinary people like you and I who took part in trialing with experiments and taking dangerous risks outside our comfort zone. Successful people, of course, made mistakes. They also fail, but they don't give up. Instead, they quickly overcome their fear and learn from their mistakes. For example, Michael Jordan was cut from the school basketball team. Steve Jobs was fired from his own company. Warren Buffett was rejected by Harvard University. Abraham Lincoln lost eight elections, and Thomas Edison failed more than 1,000 times when creating the light bulb. Now honestly, if I were Thomas Edison, I might have given up way before 1,000. And for Abraham Lincoln, I wouldn't dare run another election due to public embarrassment. But without these remarkable gentlemen, the world might have been shaped differently. Their failures were just part of chapter one, just the beginning of a well-written book. I want you to all think about a time when you failed. How miserable, how disappointing was it? Many of you will probably wrinkle your nose at the memory, but I'll tell you why. You just straighten your nose, smile a little, and how failure is actually a stepping stone towards success. First, failure is a function and evidence of trying. The best way to measure your progress is counting the numbers of failures you had. If you haven't failed yet, you probably didn't try your very best. Failure represents growth and opportunity, not loss and wrinkling your noses. Second, failure builds character. If you look at events leading up to any significant victory, you'll often discover failure being the biggest motivator. Just like the Colorado River created the Grand Canyon over a period of millions of years, success can also come in small chunks, and they're a part of any winning strategy. On the other hand, waiting years upon years for something to happen isn't effective when you can take action now. To wrap up, people might be expecting some kind of Disney action and magically becoming successful. We need to overcome a hurdle called failure in order to become successful. Thank you.